today we're back again to look at our resurrection eggs. Now yesterday we looked at the blue egg and the blue egg had a donkey in there. And if you remember right, the donkey reminded us of how Christ rode into Jerusalem. Okay? So tonight we're going to look in the light pink egg. Okay? And the light pink egg has some coins in it. Okay? Those coins remind us of the 30 pieces of silver that Judas um, received for betraying Jesus over to the Jewish leaders, okay? So I'm going to read to you tonight from Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 through 16, okay? And it reads, Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty silver coins. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over. So the Jewish leaders... That's who we're going to talk a little bit about tonight, as well as Judas. But the Jewish leaders, they didn't really like Jesus. They were looking for a way to get rid of him. Jesus was not the kind of Messiah or the Son of God that they wanted. They wanted someone who was going to come and overthrow the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire ruled over the Jews, and they wanted to get rid of that. So they wanted someone who was warrior-like, riding on a horse, not someone riding on a donkey who was bringing peace and, and was full of God's love. Now Jesus, he was humble, and he came to earth to show us love. He wanted us to know the true goodness that only comes from our Father God in heaven. That is the goodness that happens in our hearts and lives when we follow Jesus. The goodness only comes from God. It is through him that we can do good. Now, the Pharisees thought they were good. Um, they thought that, that they were just fine the way they were, but they weren't. They were selfish and prideful and judgmental. They didn't want to give people a chance much at all. Now, Jesus wanted them to see that they were wrong. He wanted people to know that it's not what we're like on the outside, but what we're on the inside. It's more important at how our heart is. Jesus said, if we are clean on the inside, that is if our heart's clean, if we have good motives and right things on the inside, then we will be clean and pleasing on the outside too. So whatever we think inside is what's going to come out. So if we're thinking things that are prideful and, and not nice and selfish and mean, then that's the kind of things that we're going to say and do to the people around us. We're going to be selfish and mean and not nice. But if we're thinking about good things and we're choosing to do right things, then, then those are the things that are going to come out. We're going to want to tell the truth. We're going to want to help and be kind. Okay? Now, Jesus told the Pharisees they were wrong and that they needed to change. And this made them very, very mad. They didn't want Jesus to tell them that they were sinful because they were supposed to be the ones that were being the leaders in the temple and things, and they didn't think they were sinful. You know, it's all the people who weren't doing all the right things. But they didn't understand that it wasn't about just doing right things. And they were content to live life selfishly and full of pride. They didn't want to change and be like God wanted them to be. And you know what? When, when they chose to disobey, that was sin. Sin is when we live our lives being disobedient to God. Now Judas, he was one of the 12 disciples, okay? He was a follower of Jesus. He loved Jesus. And he followed him, and he, and he helped, and he cared, and he did good things. But at some point during his life, 
he decided to disobey God. He decided that he he wanted to go to the Jewish leaders because he had a, a greedy feeling. He wanted the money. And so he offered to the Jewish leaders to lead them to Jesus. And that's exactly what he did. They paid him 30 pieces of silver to, to betray Jesus. And then Judas led them, led them to Jesus, and they took him away. Now, betraying someone is when, when someone lies, they pretend to be your friend, but instead they're really your enemy. Now, Judas, he, like we talked before, he was a trusted disciple, and then he turned against Jesus. So the Jewish leaders took Jesus so they could put him on trial. And they put him on trial because Jesus said he was God. And they didn't like that. Okay? Now, we want to remember again that the coins remind us of the 30 pieces of silver that Judas received for betraying Jesus into the hands of the Jewish leaders. Okay? So let's pray and ask God to help us to be obedient to him that we would make choices that would be pleasing to him, that we would choose to tell the truth, that we would choose to, to love people, that we would choose to give people a second chance and have mercy, that we would choose to, to love our family or friends or people that even sometimes are mean to us and not nice, that we would choose to, to care about them um, the best that we can and to pray for them. Because God wants all of us to be able to have a relationship with him. Now, not everyone will choose to, to follow Jesus, but we want to know that we want to share Jesus with as many people as we can. So let's pray and ask God to help us to be obedient to him. Lord God, I do thank you that you are so good and that you have given us your word, the truth. And Lord, I just pray right now that you would just be with each one of us. Help us, Lord, to, to recognize times when we can share who you are with those around us. Help us to tell the truth. Help us to love our neighbors. Help us to love our families. And especially during this time when we're, we're having to spend a lot of time together. And maybe we all haven't done that very much. And Lord, I just pray that you help us to be kind and loving and caring to our families and, and to um, those that were around even though it may not be very many people right now, but Lord, that you help us to, to be sensitive to your spirit, to do what you would want, and that we would um, be reading your word and, and um, just following it, Lord, and, and being obedient. Help us to obey not only your word, Lord, but help us to obey our parents and to obey um, the things that are in your word, Lord. We just thank you and give you praise, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, maybe take some time to think about how you can obey. How can you help someone today? How could you encourage someone today? So um, we'll just leave you with that today. And tomorrow, we'll come back for egg number three. Have a good day.